Hello everyone, Victor is here, your organic chemistry tutor, and today I want to look at this fun looking reaction. So looking at my starting material, I see that this is going to be some sort of an ether. And by reacting it with HBr over here, I'm seeing that I'm going to be doing some sort of an ether cleavage. But unlike in a typical ether cleavage, I'm going to get one alkyl halide over here, which is going to be my CH3Br, but on top of that, I'm also going to be getting a ketone, which is not not quite a typical outcome for this type of a reaction. So let's look at the mechanism of this reaction and see what exactly is going on there. So first of all, let's redraw the reaction and explore the possibilities. Like in any typical ether cleavage reaction, I might be tempted to start by protonating my oxygen and making an intermediate looking like this. But that actually doesn't happen, so we are not going to see something like that. Well, why might that be the case? Well, the thing is, the vanillic ethers that we have uh, uh, like in this case, they do have a resonance conjugation between the oxygen and a double bond. So if I take my starting material and redraw it real quick, then I can show that there is a resonance looking like this, giving me a minor resonance contributor looking like this. While that might be a minor resonance contributor, it is actually very important to keep that in mind, because that means that we are going to end up with a delta minus on the carbon of the double bond, which means that that carbon is going to be abnormally nucleophilic compared to a regular carbon-carbon double bond. So what happens in reality is that we are actually going to end up protonating the alkene rather than the oxygen in this case, which also going to give me a positively charged intermediate, but in this case a slightly differently looking intermediate. So now, from this point, the last thing that we have in this mechanism is to take our nucleophile and actually do an SN2 style attack on the methyl group, displacing that, and the left side of my molecule, that entire thing with a ketone, essentially acts as a living group in this case, giving me my final products. So remember, whenever you are going to be doing a cleavage of the vanillic ether, the ether where the oxygen is directly connected to a carbon-carbon double bond, you always want to protonate your double bond first instead of the oxygen atom. And that's all I have for today. What did you think about this mechanism? Did you get it right or did you go for the oxygen right away? Let me know in the comments below. Also, remember to hit the like button to help promote this video, subscribe to the channel for daily organic chemistry updates, watch this video next and I will see you tomorrow.